Here in the experimental procedure, we suggest to explain what determines climate donation on Earth. We know that Earth has a spherical shape and that it receives energy from the sun. Here to represent Earth, we use a globe or a football, or you may use any round ball. And to represent the sun, we use a lamp, or you may use a flashlight. First, we place a cardboard with a hole in front of the lamp in order to focus the light. And then we place the lamp around five centimeters away from the ball. And here you may use books in order to have the ball and the lamp face to face. You may choose to place a sheet of paper on the ball to draw the outline of the spots of the light. In this first experiment, the light has to be focused on the middle of the ball, which represents the equator. And then you turn off the main light. And the light from the lamp draws a circle on the ball. All of the energy is focused on this area. So let's draw the outline. You can choose to draw the results on a paper to be able to compare with the next experiments or even to calculate the surface of the circle. Think about this method when you experiment with your students so they should always be able to keep track of what they observe. Then, using the same experimental setup as before, this time we focus the light on the top of the ball which is closer to the North Pole. The light forms an ellipse on the top of the ball, so let's draw the outline. We can now compare the sizes of the spot we drew on the ball during these two experiments. We can observe that the spot on the middle of the ball is smaller than the one on the top. It means that the equator receives more energy from the sun than the north, uh, such as the poles. So the poles are colder than the equator. We can thus explain the climate donation by the spherical shape of Earth. Each area does not receive the same amount of energy and it leads to a latitudinal variation of the climates.